customization um, is something that I actually tend to do a lot of. Um, I will buy ready-made items at a store and I will just, you know, quickly give them a wash or something and call it done. In this case, I bought a, a portal gun from the Rick and Morty series. This particular one is made by Funko. Uh, there is another one that is um, available in Spirit Halloween stores. I don't know if if it's made by the same manufacturer or not, but the portal guns actually do look a little different. Uh, this is the one that was available um, at when I went to Barnes & Noble and they actually had it 50% off, so I actually bought a portal gun for a whopping like seven bucks or something. So it really wasn't a huge loss if I actually ruined it when I started to take it apart. Thankfully that was actually rather easy. Uh, Funko actually just used regular screws in their manufacturer so it was actually just really easy to just take a small precision screwdriver and just unscrew everything in it. Uh, the bottom literally just kind of slips off of the top. Uh, be careful not to pull out any of the wires or you will suddenly no longer have a working light or something. The top bubble actually just once again also just slid right off. Um, thankfully there was no glue holding anything into place uh, so it was rather easy to do that. Um, it was actually a just a rather easy thing to do. Um, I had a couple of paints already available through nail polish that I could actually just use for what I, I wanted. Uh, I had a sort of a, a chrome finish for, for like a wash that could just go over nails to sort of give it a sparkly effect. I thought that that would actually look really cool on the inside to sort of make it look like there's really liquid on the inside of, of the little portal fluid that's supposed to be in the top of the gun. Uh, so I just, I just swirled some stuff on the inside of it and I just used my hands and I just sort of just kept swirling and swirling it around in my fingers until it dried. I eventually did actually use a hair dryer to speed this process along because it was taking an eternity and I didn't have an eternity to spend on just letting paint dry as I was just slowly turning it in my hands. So I just turned on a hair dryer and I just blew warm air into it as I was as I was turning the little the little capsule in my hands and it actually created it's rather difficult to tell but you can actually see little ripples and things of, of fluid that's on the inside of it and it makes it look a little more realistic as opposed to just the plain empty bubble cap that's in the top of it if I really felt like making it look like there was really liquid on the inside of it I could have gotten a resin kit and just poured liquid resin into it um, and just let it harden with the little nodule on the inside of it. I didn't really feel like going through all that trouble and it would have actually added a lot of weight to the portal gun which I really wasn't keen on doing. So just swirling some just some clear liquid that was sealant on the inside of it that was just going to sort of make it look like that there was actually liquid on the inside of it which was what I wanted to do. And I also coated the little nodule on the inside with glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, which is, I gave it several coats of my nail polish, um, my glow-in-the-dark nail polish that I buy on around Halloween. And then I just sort of did a, a clear, sort of gr slightly greenish wash over the top of it to make all the little veins of, of energy sort of pop on it, which is actually what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a little ball of energy. Um, it doesn't really show up too well on either uh, portal gun toys as actually being like a little ball of energy. I could have actually have rewired this if I really wanted to and uh, gave it like a little sparkling ball effect if I if I really wanted to go through the trouble. I didn't. I actually just kind of wanted to make this quick and easy because quite frankly a, I wanted to make this Rick cosplay as quick and easy as possible um, which I did. So it I, I just painted everything, I let it dry, and then I got to work on the um, little number uh, readout display that reads um, out of the box as C-137, which is fine if you're actually cosplaying as C-137 Rick, but I'm not. I am playing a Rick from an alternate universe, and so I don't really want the universe number of C-137 to actually appear on my digital readout. So I literally just took a piece of very fine sandpaper and I sanded it away. 
it actually kind of really makes a great effect to just sort of sand off the layers of paint, just leaving just a little bit there to make it look like there is in fact an LED read display. If you just repainted it over a flat color, you wouldn't actually really get that dimensional effect that I kind of wanted. So I just left like just the bare hint of some of the numbers just sitting there. And then I did the same wash that I did on the inside of the um, little globe. And I just coated it three or four times just to give it that super shiny, glossy look. And um, I let it dry overnight. And then I just completely reassembled my entire portal gun. Um, given that the little nodule on the inside of, of the bubble is, is, um, is basically like tight to the to the actual like little plastic bubble it it actually took a little bit of careful wrangling to get it on the inside because now there's a couple of layers of paint to sort of catch it honestly i think it looks a lot better now I, it doesn't look so cartoony if you will which is which is a great look um, because it does actually mirror the show a little bit more but i'm also cosplaying as a real person as Rick. So I want to have a slightly more realistic look as opposed to just the straight, flat, cartoony style. So just little tiny customization things like this will actually make props look a little better and it will also sort of make it stand out in a crowd when I'm at a convention and there might be, you know, a half a dozen other Ricks standing around.